There we go. It's working now. So yeah, this is harvest. What do I reset? Okay. Come on. Alright, let's load our game. Alright, day two. Welcome back. When we last left off, we had just gotten a key from this kid here, from Jimmy, the room closet key. So, now we have reason to go to the school, so let's go there. Alright, uh, do, 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 there we go. Let's go here. Let's examine shit, because we haven't been here before, so, gotta examine everything. If there's anything to examine. Is there anything? Doesn't look like it. Not even the sign. Okay, nothing to examine. Alright, we'll go inside then. What we got here? Alright. Examine the sign. It looks like the bake sale will be held here. What else we got? A glass protected fire alarm. Alright. These locks are with inexplicable dents and stains and dents. Alright. This drinking fountain doesn't work. Examine this. These locks are yeah, already yeah. Okay. A distasteful amal gram of chewed gum, mangled love notes, broken ballpoints, oozing blue ink, and wadded Kleenex. Okay. Alright, let's use our key. Before we do that, though, let's save our game. So we don't screw up here. Alright. Use the key on the broom closet. <gasps> Busted! Yeah, you're busted. Use the camera. Oh! Ha ha. Busted. Huh? What? Screwing in the school broom closet? What will people think? Yeah. Are you blackmailing us, you little shit? Calm down, Mr. Harold. Stephen would never do that. He's a smiley bear. But we should give him a token of our appreciation for his silence. Here, Stephen, take this baseball bat. You'll find it quite useful. All right, maybe I could use a good bat. That a boy. Take the bat, and we'll take the photo. However, will I keep the children in line now? I have a spare I can bring in tomorrow, unless you'd prefer a chainsaw this time. I'll talk to Mrs. Phelps. Uh, okay. I I have uh, I have no words. Okay, well we're, we're down with them. I think we're done here, actually. So let's go. Get the hell out of here. And get the hell out of the school, I believe. Alright. I believe... Um, next we need to uh, go to the... Uh, what do we need to do next? It's post office, I believe. Yeah, here we go. Uh, but first, before we do that... Because I, I mean, I know this is where you're supposed to go next, but I want to go here and get my assignment. Talk to certain Arms. I take it you wish to be initiated into the mysteries of the Order of the Harvest Moon. Yes, I do. Very well. Know that securing the application was the first step on your road to enlightenment. Now you must complete a series of tasks. My pranks, right? Tests of wit, the purpose. But to complete them, you must, if you wish to enter these walls. Minor prank, eh? I'll bet. What have you got in mind? There is in Harvest a man named Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Mr. He Johnson. <laughs> I should like you to put a scratch in it. 
A scratch. That's all? As I said, a minor prank. Uh -huh. Mind you, you're not to damage the vehicle. Really put a single scratch in it. Once you have done so, return here, and I shall give you your next task. Uh huh. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Minor pranks, huh? <laughs> yeah. I still remember needful things, buddy. That uh, Leland Gaunt made people do minor things, too, and uh, they weren't minor. Alright, let's uh, go to the... Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's a general store, isn't it? It's the post office. That's post office. Alright, well, since I know what we need to do, and I know how to get there, we need to get the... Uh, need to get this key. That should loosen up a bit. Alright, this animal. Get it. Doink. Alright, cool. We're out of here. Nightfall to sense one harvest. Ooh, ominous tractor. Alright. Let's uh, continue. Alright, it's now nightfall. Next thing to do, go to Johnson Residence here. And use this manhole key on the manhole cover. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right, let's go. All right, use the. Let's see. There's a wall there. Use shovel and throw a rock. Ta-da! Boom. Then we go through. All right. Anything to examine in this corridor here? No. All right, let's go through. Okay. Examine the cans. Empty oil cans litter the floor. Okay. A large oil pan filled with lugs and bolts. Ah. Right place. Let's go up here. Boom. What we got here? Uh, pitchfork. An old rusty pitchfork. Yoink. Take that. This dog might be swapped to the wedding. Take out the dolly. And anything else we need? A window. Oh, they won't let me examine the window. The window's been bricked up and sealed off. Okay. Uh, anything else? Mr. Johnson, we're good. Goody sized tool bench. Alright, what can we take? Mallet. A rubber mallet used for gophers. The carrying case filled with nothing but lint and sawdust. The annual blood drive's been marked down for the upcoming Saturday. The faded poster is a 1948 Sexiest Tomboy Award. How many license plates did Mr. Johnson need for October one year? Um, the flashlight's missing batteries. The only item here that's pretty useful is this Phillips screwdriver. Well, let's take it then. Yoink. A heavily used tool sharpener and sander. This gas can is a similar model to the Postmaster's gas can. Mentioned on the side of the blowtorch reads, thinking of you, Edna. Okay. Yeah, this guy's obsessed. Okay, now how do I get out of this? Oh, there we go. Alright. That's what we got. Anything else? Garage bags are piled up against the wall. Anything else? I'm gonna operate the tool bench. Mr. Johnson's prized possession. Alright. We'll use the screwdriver on it. There we go. Did it. Did it. Damn right we did. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here now. I think. How do I get out of here though? Where's the exit? Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> sure. Alright, go back through here. I didn't even talk to Stephanie today. I probably should have done some of that shit today, oh well. Oh 
Okay. Um, I guess we return to our homes, right? Oh. No, we don't return to our house yet. We've got to, um... Go, um... I guess give the... Go talk to him. I guess. So, yep. you have completed your first task. Yes, I have, Dr. Now Claw. you scratch the tucker. You may proceed to your second task. You will steal a bolt of fabric from the fireman and bring it to me. Okay. Doesn't sound so bad, I'll do it. Very well, then. Use whatever means necessary. Okay, that's the end of day two. On to day three. And you know, I've seen this. This is this doesn't change, so I'm not gonna bore y'all having to see that shit every time. All right, day three. Save. And next, we've got to get a bolt of fabric from the fireman. Well, in order to do that, let's talk to this asshole real quick. Who do you want, Steve? Still sick, huh? That's right. Maybe you'd feel... Maybe you'd... Okay. What? Just let me... I heard that someone's parent put on this perfect thing that famous. Gonna get a picture on a milk carton. Yeah. Well, I heard that Karen was gone. So I went over to Miss Fitzgerald's house. And asked if I could play with Karen. And I just stood there, you know, in the doorway, and cried and cried. And I just stood there, wondering how long it would take for her to stop. But she didn't. So I went inside and watched TV, because they've got color, because Edna has money, because she owns the diner and all. And I had sent she was feeling vulnerable. So I asked her to fix me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And she did. Then I went into Karen's bedroom and looked around for stuff I could take while Edna was in the bathroom with the water on. You're fucked up, kid. But all that there was was girl stuff. So I came home. But it was fun while it lasted. You're really fucked up in the head, kid. I'm evil. He doesn't know what evil is. <laughs> Tom says the blood drive is coming, Steve. You'll like that. It's for a good cause. And only bad people don't do it. Uh-huh. Bye-bye, fuck yeah. up, kid. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> That's what she... I don't want to go out the door. Uh, give him the fucking newspaper. There now, Steve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck off. Alright. Let's talk to mom. Let's see what that bitch has to say. Hello, dear. How are you today? By the way, I spoke with Mr. Johnson and he's livid. Seems someone scratched up his priceless tucker. If he finds out who, they'll be heck to pay. Edna's daughter Karen has disappeared. Karen is playing outside as Edna closed the diner, and that's the last anyone saw of her. Hmm. This happened Tuesday night. That's all I know, except for what's on the posters. Did you hear? Someone had... Yeah, I've already, I've already, I've already told him. Don't to forget to put the... Yeah, yeah. Fuck off. Alright, let's go, uh, save... Karen, because I know exactly where she is. Because I've played this game before. Cemetery. You're probably going, why is she at the cemetery? I'm like, well, you'll find out. All right, let's go. Oh, what's this? Oh, look, matches, matches for your wedding. Even though I didn't witness him doing this, I know it. I knew that um, that Mr. Potsdam did that. All right, use the shovel. There she is. Thank God I found you. Are you alright, Karen? I want to go home. Could you take me to my mommy's store? Or to 
the policeman. Can you tell me who did this to you? Mr. Potsdam told me he'd hurt my mommy if I told. Oh boy. Do anything. Promise. Tell me what happened. He made me play house. Then he dug a hole. Please. I just want to go home now. Please. Can you tell me your address, honey? I don't know. Just take me to the store or the policeman. Please. Mommy said to go to the policeman if I got lost. And I'm lost. Bye bye. Okay, well, Karen scurries off at it view. Okay, well, she's, she knows the way back, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's examine the tombstone. Here lies Boxcar Willie. This air reeks of fresh soil manure. Uh, tombstone. Two years in harvest is too long. Fear not in death, Monty Jiggs. Scottery Bakerin. We shall rest easily without you. Uh, description of the headstone. Fade beyond legibility. November 27th, 1940. Another unknown visitor. Lovely. This tombstone is unmarked. Rest in peace, the unarmed hobo. Robba Williams, 1922-19. Oh, I get the joke. I get the joke. They mean Roberta Williams, right? Ha, huh, good one. Freddie Mercury's. Mercedes, too much love to kill you. Not even glue could save him. Rest in peace, Elmer. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Alright, let's uh... Wait a minute. Is there something over this way? There was. It's, it's over here. Oh yeah, the uh, the marble door has been sealed shut. The Poston family crypt. Well, we don't need to go in there yet. We will soon, though. But not right now. Well, we saved Karen, so let's uh, go talk to. All right, let's go. All right, let's go uh, find Karen. She's at the diner. There she is. Oh my God, Karen! Thank God, what happened? Found her in the graveyard. She was buried alive. And she claims Mr. Potsdam was responsible. Thank you, Steve. Thank you from both of us. Here. Here's the reward money. Take it and go. I need to be alone with my baby right now. Alright, we got money for this. Cool. Alright. Let's, uh... What do we do next? Well, we need to get the bolt of fabric. But in order to do that... First, let's, uh... Let's talk to, uh... Our friendly neighborhood uh, girl here and let's talk to this asshole did you say hello no I haven't seen it it's very important I yeah. could use some good news right now I just got the word the order turned down my latest application looks like we'll be having the wedding at morning hands after all you molested Karen and buried her alive. Yeah, I know what that crazy little bitch said, but it's not true. I was at home that night. Mrs. Potsdam will vouch for me. Oh, you mean she'll lie Isn't for you. Isn't that right, Mrs. Potsdam? That's right, Mr. Potsdam. Yeah, she'll lie for you. Hello, Steve. Care to stay for some pot roast? Forget the pot roast, mother. Mother? Pot roast is for your backstabbers. Wife. For persecutors. I won't share my meat with him. My meat! My meat! Okay, dude, you're nuts. Why are you coming for Mrs. Potsdam? the truth. That's why. And I think you'd better be going, young man, before I call your mother and tell on you. <laughs> Someone went and scraped up Johnson's car? Can you imagine? Boy, his attitude He's changed quickly. He's stepping a bear trap and chew his own leg off rather than suffer a scratch tucker. Serves the rich bastard right, if you ask me. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, bye bye. So, yeah. Alright, let's go talk to Stephanie. 
see what she has to say. Steve, I'm so glad you came back. What have you been doing? I visited the lodge, talked to the sergeant at arms there. He knows that there's something out of whack here. He told me if I wanted to find out what it is, I should join the lodge. I don't remember him saying I've that. I've decided to join the lodge, Stephanie. I think the answer to all our questions is inside. That place. It's so sinister. Maybe, but I gotta join anyway. You may be playing right into their hands. Did you think of that? Doesn't it seem like you're being herded toward the lodge? That's one of the things I hope to find out. I hope finding out doesn't get you killed. Yeah. My faux mother keeps me up on the latest gossip. Not like she really wants to talk to me. More like she's feeding me information. For instance, she told oh, me that Mr. Like Johnson's mother? Tucker was vandalized. That's another weird thing. Every car I've seen drive by is a Tucker. There were only 31 produced. What are the odds of that? I've always wanted a Tucker. Funny that Harvest would be full of them. Any idea who scratched the car? I did. Why would you do something like that? It's part of the Lodge initiation. I see. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but getting into the Lodge is the best way to find out. By committing vandalism? It was a crime, Steve. Don't be so melodramatic about it. I've heard of worse fraternity initiations. Sorry. When you put it that way, I guess I was overreacting. Yeah, you were. Is it true? You found Karen? Yeah, just in time, too. He'd molested her and buried her alive. He couldn't bring himself to kill her outright, so he just decided to stick her in the ground and let fate take its course. Who would do that to a helpless child? She says it was Mr. Potsdam. And I believe her. Oh, Christ. And all this time I've been under the same roof with that... With that thing watching me. Take it easy, okay? So, at least they'll be coming to take him away, won't they? Uh, hell if I know. Come back and visit me soon, okay? Alright. Well, we're done talking to her for now, so let's, uh... Let's go, uh, where should I go next? Well, I've got to go to the, um, the fire station for one thing. To pull the, but I gotta pull the fire alarm so I can go in there. First I'm gonna go over there and talk to them. I've never, I haven't showed you them yet, so I figured I would. Let's examine stuff first. Oh look, there's that, there's that symbol again. A fire truck with a lovely shade of pink. Okay. The fire is animated as lighter being right where it is. Okay. Let's talk to him. Please excuse the mess. They did wonders with the upstairs bedroom, but this garage defies color coordination. Oh joy! Gay stereotypes. Lovely. All right, let's go inside. Next, it's just waiting to happen. A well-endowed new man standing in the moonlight. Okay. Picture of a Starbuck fairy castle. A photorealistic mural of a peaceful countryside. Shut that dog up. It's the lighter's point for his barking chops. Decorative oriental fence in Ming Dynasty. Picture of a phallic-like structure standing in a row. Lights too to reach. Impression it's a landscape. Okay, yeah. Hello, Steve. Welcome to the House of Flame, as we like to call it. Uh. I cut it out spots, honestly. Once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. I'm not sure. I'm not saying anything. There you go, Spot. I'm speechless. Oh, Steve! Bet you don't remember me. Heard about that short in the old wiring. I'm Fire Marshal Sparky, head of your fire department. 
Then why are you sketching nude men by far to far? It's not the subject, it's the process. Don't be such a party Steve. We're talking about art. Yeah. Besides, we haven't had a fire in heart since the newspaper building burned down. So I'll admit the walk in this place is one big accident waiting to happen. Isn't that right, Spot? Yeah. Uh. A dreadful affair. You wouldn't think that a brick and steel building with a sprinkler system could go up that quickly. Oh please. Dwayne was glad enough to see the thing go up. And so was McKnight. If you could get into that safe with this wall... <sighs> Forget it. Look, Steve. As far as I know, the fire was an accident. Let's just leave it at that. Uh-huh. Now don't you go moving! Uh-huh. Some people think all we do is sit around, sketching betting examples of manhood for our own amusement. Nothing could be further... All the dried out paper walls, nests, cluttered... Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm done talking to these people. Yeah, bye-bye, yeah. Don't bother me, I'm sketching. Okay. Alright, we're done. We're done talking to these, um, stereotypes of gay people. Alright. Uh, really poor, uh, stereotypes of gay people. Like I'd say, I, like I want to say again, I... None of the views expressed in this game reflect my views at all, just so you know. Alright, okay, let's, uh, go to the memorial school here. We gotta get those firemen out of the building. So, in order to do that, we gotta do the fire alarm. A glass pressure fire alarm. Ta-da! It's like you didn't give a shit. Alright, let's go. Uh, I said let's go. Alright, uh, there we go. Right, fire station, go to fire station. And we need to take, uh, the ladder. And the yeah, axe. Yeah. That's all we needed. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Alright. Let's go. Where to now? I think. So we go. Oh, that's right, our house. We'll go here next. Alright, we use... First, we've got to go back inside. You see this cabinet here? we got to push that out of the way. So in order to do that, we use the dolly. There we go. Save our game here. This controls the alarm system. Well, let's turn it off. There we go. Alright. Now, we need to open this uh, security bars. Now, if we hadn't turned off that security system, uh, the alarm would sound. Okay. That's not the right screwdriver. This is. We dismantled the box and went over the screwdriver. Alright. Operate the window. Let's go inside. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Exotic kinky love equipment. No! Leave that there! If any of it turns up missing. Marv, what's going on in there? Okay. I'm just gonna go. Go! Go! What else we got? Oh, we already examined everything. I think, yeah, that picture. Screenshot the movie Rosie Palmy's Rosie Cheeks. 
This photograph is a constant torture for poor old dad. Okay. Oh, we don't need to examine the sex toys that much. Let's examine them too much. Let's, uh, anything else we can examine in here? Because they're all the same, so let's, uh, let's talk to dad. Steve, is that you? Come to see your poor old dad. Are you my father? Really? I don't remember you. Please. I'm not in the mood for jokes. I'm serious. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you've always been a well, kidder, Steve. You always were a kidder, Steve. See? Just don't make me laugh now. Remember the stitches. My God. What has she done to you? She doesn't know you're here, does she? Does she? No, I had to break in. What the hell is going on in here? I know it's a mystery to you. The sacred things that husbands and wives do behind closed doors. Maybe we should have that special father-son talk. Especially now that you're getting married. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> but listen. I can't talk very loud. It's the tracheotomy. Uh-huh. When a man and a woman love each other very much, they go into a room alone and shut the door and bolt it with at least three locks and prop a chair under the doorknob so no one can get in or out. Then they take off their clothes and get out a wide variety of scalpels. I'm pretty sure that's not the way Some that goes. Curved. Some sharp. All of them sharp. And then the man climbs on the woman. And then the... With the barbed wire. Dig. I'm pretty sure that's not how sex works, but... It's alright. Don't get worked up. You need your rest. Yes. Rest. But why did you come? You must have had a reason. For risking it. No, I just wanted to see how you're doing. Son, I'd like to talk to you. There was something terrible. Marv, what's going on in there? Go! Alright. I'd love to. Now, how do I get out of here? Did I just fuck up the game? Looks like I did. Great. I think the game's frozen. Oh, bye. Okay. Well, we gotta come back. We gotta get the uh, form from the meat plant first, so let's do that. I totally forgot about that. I gotta go to the meat plant first before I talk to my dad, so let's do that. Alright, what else have we got around here? They sat a red brick building with a horrible stench coming from within. Bloody tire tracks. Alright, let's go inside. Um, there's a cat. Whatever's in these barrels smells extremely bad. Talk to several small animals. Alright, let's talk to him. Steve, how's your father? Is he better? Uh, about the same, I guess. He's been away from work for weeks. And when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. Believe me, he's a hard man to see right now. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? Uh, amnesia. Look, I'm not kidding about the amnesia. Why won't anyone believe well, me? Well, you always were a well, kidder, you always Steve. were such a kidder, Steve. See? Funny how that's beginning to sound like yeah. a stock ant. Exactly. Like it was coached. You sure are acting like a kidder, son. With your dad ill, you're gonna need to start behaving like an adult. Especially if you're gonna take over the family business. 
family business. You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. It takes dedication and a strong stomach. A lot of times, when I'm finished scrubbing up and digging the bits of intestine out from my fingernails, I must confess I don't have much appetite for red meat. But red meat is one of the principal food groups, and you've got to have it. So when you can do this all day and help yourself to a juicy red steak afterwards, then uh, by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. Uh-huh. Of course, amnesia would certainly help that, wouldn't it? Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Yeah. Where do you keep the animals? Or do I want to know? <laughs> does it matter? The uh, end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat. Only the juiciest cuts. Yeah, I don't want to know what you're killing in here. Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality while cutting costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affair? Sir, it's good. Can I have some meat to take home? Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. Alright. Now we such a strange. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Now we can go back and talk to our dad and get that meat. So let's do it. <laughs> Talk to him again. What? I need some meat, and Pat won't give me any without your signed permission. Good old dependable Pat. Here, son. Here's my signature. Take it to him, and you won't have any problem. Now go, son. Go quickly. Before she comes back. Wow, oh, this is, uh, <laughs> this is fucked up. Anyway, let's, uh, go back to the meat plant now. Uh, and give the signature to him. Alright. Alright, let's do it. Signature, where's the signature? Where's the signature? Sign me personally. Alright, there you go. So. Your father okayed the meat, huh? How's he doing? That psychotic bitch has him sliced to ribbons. Good, you're glad to hear it. What the A new shipment of animals has come in and it's time to start what cutting. What the fuck? That's fucked up. He didn't even phase him. Anyway, let's go. Don't fall to sense apart harvest. Alright. Spooky tractor again. Alright. Let's head to the fire station. That'll shut him up. Alright. And then we operate the sheep. What the fuck? Jeez, what are you doing here? Just standing here, waiting to be drawn. Uh huh. You just hang out here. All the time? I'm not a person, Steve. I'm an object. You'd do well to remember that. A person is his job. Okay. So you understand that. And if you don't, it won't matter because you'll be dead. Dead. Have you gotten your lodge application in yet? Uh, yeah. Good. You may survive yet. Uh -huh. I guess you're here to steal the bolt. Yeah. You gonna ride? Not at all. That's not my job. However, since I am an object guard, and since art should be interpreted, I'll give you a clue as to where the bolt is located. Darkness gives as darkness gets. But light and bolt is light shed. Uh huh. Okay, whatever the fuck that means. 
Uh, let's turn the light switch. Yoink. Don't turn the light on that. Alright, wait a minute. Ah, okay. There we go. Let's use the ladder. Well, that didn't work. Alright. Oh, Using ladder to climb to retrieve a piece of cloth and wall light. Alright, cool. We got the cloth. Let's go. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Yeah, Friday is the bake sale. That's day five, I believe. So, yeah, let's, uh... Get the hell out of here. Having acquired the cloth, you make your way to the house of an exhausting day. Yeah, yeah, I'm not seeing it. Alright. Okay. Well, that was... We're now on day three, I believe, so let's save there. Yeah, I think because... Hey, wait a minute. Is it day five? No. Might be day four. Yeah, I think we're on day four, actually, because day four, I believe, is when you... Uh... So... Uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and save under day four, because I think this is day four. Yeah, I think you're right, because I think... Yeah. Yeah, day four is when you... Alright, so let's go outside here. And let's talk to him. Leave me alone, will ya? This is the good part. Okay. Hey, it's too bad that I don't get scout badges for digging up buried kids. I like to see what that bath would look like. I went over to ask her what it was like, being buried alive and all. But she just stared at me and twitched. And drew it. <laughs> yes, I got my answer. Huh. Yeah. Bye, fucked up kid. Good. Fine, man. Alright, let's grab that. Yep, yep. Right there. There we go. At least we got the... This time it... We didn't get sucked out of there. Did we still get the newspaper? Alright, we did. Okay, cool. Let's talk to mom again. Hello, dear. How are you today? You know those firemen? The funny ones with the color sense? Looks like they misplaced a bolt of expensive fabric. Of course, each one of them suspects the other. Looks like a cat fight is brewing. Congratulations, hero. You found Karen after all. You don't seem proud, Mom. Yeah. I wonder why. I warned you not to waste time looking for her. Uh-huh. Am I running out of time? The blood drive is coming soon. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah. If you haven't joined the lodge by then, you'll find out. Still, I'm glad you found the poor baby. She says Mr. Potsdam was responsible for what happened to her. What a silly little girl. Uh, I believe her. Shame on you. Imagine accusing your future father-in-law of a thing like that. Is that how a range rider would behave? I don't think so. Why would she want? Okay, Weisenheimer. Even if he is a child molester, a kidnapper, oh, even if he and a is? murderer, uh, that's no reflection on what kind of father-in-law he'll be. I just can't wait for the wedding. Can you? Okay, bye-bye. Don't forget to put the pic- Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's give this fucking paper to him again. There now. Sit yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna save here, and I think that's all we're gonna do for today. So, stay tuned for more Harvester. Stay tuned for future Let's Plays. Stay tuned for more videos. Leave comments, like, and subscribe to my channel. All that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.